I'm talking specifically about the international law of armed conflict and the relationship between international law and the U.S. domestic law relating to detention of uh, individuals in the armed conflict with Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. So I'm talking about the application of the law of armed conflict uh, to the specific context of terrorism with respect to Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. It has been an important commitment of the Obama administration to make sure that U.S. detention policy and U.S. use of force complies with international humanitarian law, and we've worked very hard to accomplish that. There is an inherent challenge in trying to apply a body of law that was designed for international armed conflicts to a non-international armed conflict of that character. And I think that probably has posed the greatest challenge to the administration and to this armed conflict in general. If we're still in an armed conflict in 10 years, I expect that there will have been a lot of developments both on the domestic and the international law front to provide further specificity to the standards for detention, the procedures for detention in these kinds of conflicts. The high-level policy seminar brought together a remarkable uh, group of people with just extraordinary expertise from government, from the European Parliament, from academia, people from different countries. It was a very rewarding conversation to participate in.